happy tonight. I, uh, well, I never watch. I love anything. a movie where they have to pretend to be a family. Like, yes, there was this one I watched yes. a lot when I was a kid, where I can't even remember what it was called, and I had this like free VHS I got from a garage sale, and it was about these two neighbors that had to be. Become a family yeah. and pretend for yep. this soda contest. That's a great so they could concept. Be America's best family because they were all poor. Yeah, I watched that shit that's so great, many times. That's a great trope. I wish more families would get together to make a fake family, but um, that line stuck with me. I said it on the show, and maybe that's why we were gifted with this tape. You know, we started covering Club Random. Probably uh, we were probably the biggest Club Random podcast out there right as far as coverage goes we had that big hit tape when the show first came out where bill got on his knees and started grabbing bella thorne i mean it was oh bill this really introduced the new bill maher to the world and to us and ever since it's like you can't turn on an episode without finding more so again richard dreyfus i never gave a fuck about richard dreyfus i said that line but he was also in What About Bob, right? You know him from that. I just want to make sure our yes. Zoomer audience knows who he is. So uh, he appears here. I almost skipped this episode. I'm so glad I didn't. You're not going to believe what he does. Should we start it from the beginning? Oh, beginning? I always how like to you? start at the beginning. Well, just to it's been a long time. There he is. Yeah. Do you remember the show we did together? Which one? The Funny You Don't Look 200? Okay. So, or... Yeah, he's not looking good. So he sits down next to Bill, and he's plopped out grandpa style. You know, before we get into this, what is his age, Jules? Didn't we look this up? What's Richard Dreyfuss' age? Because some of you might go, he's probably like 99 now, right? He could be. He's 75. 75. Okay. I thought Richard Dreyfuss would be older. So he's only about six years older than Bill. Think about this. Bill Maher is 70, right? Or 69. Yeah. Bill Maher is like 70 years old. I'm not joking. Look him up. Let's get the age right. Because this matters. 67. Okay. 67. But 75 could be like it's not so old nowadays that you're like a 99-year-old man, right? It's not like being 88. Like 75 now is still like respectable. You could still be respectable and like sit up straight, right? So you go, maybe he's, when I first saw this, I go, maybe he's 90. Because the way he is sitting is like a pooped out pops. He's sitting like grandpa after grandpa's pretty much over. Okay? He's sitting like grandpa after grandpa. Okay, grandpa's had two strokes. He's got dementia now. He's on all this medication. He's just going to sit there like a complete fool. That's usually when I tap out for grandparents, too. During their foolish years, where they're acting like morons. I uh, refused to even participate with my grandma when she started getting all goofy. And my grandma was terrified. <laughs> I didn't want to look at that shit. Grow up! Um, so when the grandpas and grandmas start getting goofy, no, I don't throw out a celebrity boxing match. I get the fuck out of there, and I pretend I never knew them. And uh, that's what I figured was going on with Dreyfus. I go, oh, you know, this poor old man, maybe he's like... You know how, like, when you're like, how old is Richard Gere now? And you're like, he's 78? Or some shit like that where you're like, you couldn't, you can't believe how old they are. That's what I thought was going to happen. But we looked up 75. I go, okay. It's pretty young. He doesn't really, he doesn't have any diseases. It's not like he got ALS. But he's taking a seat like this and it looks really sloppy and really goofy. But at first I'm like, maybe just sound like this. The chairs are like really deep and it, there's no monitor so maybe he thought he was just sitting like how I feel like I'm sitting now, but it's just looking like that. And he's just not fully aware because it's a new chair and there's no monitor. But that ain't the case. <laughs> this is so crazy. It <laughs> needs to be on the news. <laughs> Wait till you see this fucking spectacle. My yes. doing your show. 1987. Yeah. Your show about the Constitution. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Have you seen it at all? I saw it in 1987. I mean, since then? No. Have you? Yeah, shit. 
<laughs> a lot. <laughs> you're, you, what are you like, Norman Desmond? You're running it in your <laughs> library every night. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready for my close-ups, um, Jamil. But, but no, I, I'm. It, there's a whole story about that story. Well, uh, people don't know what we're talking about, so I'm going to tell them like. Uh, in the 200th anniversary of the Constitution, which, of okay. course, was... So they're sitting there, they're talking, they're chatting. He's still sitting like that. And again, I'm going, maybe again, like, you know, I'm sitting like this, it's fine. But maybe if the camera angle was on the floor and I couldn't see I was sitting, maybe it looks crazy. One right? observation I did make, Bill's chair has no pillow. Yes. The guest chair does have a pillow. So the guest chair actually has two pillows. Now, why don't you go to the episode before this, Jules? Let us know if we got pillows on the seat before this episode. So as you see, Dreyfus has a, a pillow behind his head. Huge. 90s. Cushion. It's, uh, it's reached cushion status. It is so big. And it also looks like, because here's Bill's seat bottom, and it's this... Pee-wee's Playhouse polka-dotted turquoise and black number. And you can see that's right there, but then you see, uh-oh, they've put another pillow on top of the couch cushion, it appears. Now, in the episode before, yeah. it looks as if the pillow that is behind Richard Dreyfus is on the seat. So it looks oh. like the pillow is there for the guests to do what they wish with, perhaps? Interesting. So... It's this very deep, very probably uncomfortable to sit in chair. I wouldn't want to be seen sitting in a chair like this to begin with. But then imagine putting a pillow here and a pillow there. <laughs> and now you're kind of <laughs> just on two pillows leaning on a chair. So it's a, it's a whole different sit. So this was crazy. crazy enough. We had to know more. But then we get sidetracked. We get sidetracked by some six 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 stuff. Um, well, you can go to nine oh, minutes. Okay, go yeah. To nine okay, minutes yeah. First. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But there's only two things. We got a weird sit going on. Okay, <laughs> it's weird enough for me to go. I I just need to know more. Let's go to nine minutes though, because the sitting gets a little crazier. No, it was it was that. The real deal was that people just ignored it right. if the wife did not make a stink. So interesting. Yes, you're right. The wife has a big role to play. They call them mafia wives. Yeah. You know. And by the way, the real story was that they did know it was part of the dating system. Okay, it's Hollywood, it's the 70s. People are doing quaaludes. Okay. He's getting real close to the edge of the chair. Okay, so he's come out of his seat here. He's leaning forward, and now he's sitting kind of on the edge of that top pillow, but that top pillow don't have much support under it. It's starting to kind of slip off. And he's kind of sitting there. Can everybody see that? It's uh, very dark. His leg is. Oh no, that's such a shame because look how dark that is. Up. I hope people can see that. It looks so dark on my monitor there. You can't see what his legs are doing, but they're getting goofy. Okay, let's skip forward to where it's more visible here. Let's go to 1458. 1458. And you can always double check these time codes at home. You'll see we're not manipulating the video. Seven. I don't know, McKenna's Gold. Who the fuck remembers what with the worst film of the Valley of the Dolls. Valley of the Dolls. <laughs> Valley of the Dolls was not the worst film because I was 11 when it came out and soon was masturbating to it. And you responded to Miss O'Hara? Okay. So, you should keep listening at this yeah, part. Yeah, of course. So he's sitting, sitting kind of weird. He's moving around. He's moving back and forth. It's not so bad yet. But then Job, uh, he brings up the Valley of the Dolls. And uh, what's his name? Bill. Bill. <laughs> Bill, uh, Bill makes this offhanded comment like, oh, yeah, Valley of the Dolls wasn't the worst movie in the world because I jacked off to it as a kid. Eleven when it came out and soon was masturbating to it. And you responded to Miss O'Hara. Miss O'Hara. Miss O'Hara. <laughs> that was the worst line in the oh, worst film oh, that, ever made. And you said that? 
Yeah. See, now who's in Valley of the Dolls? There had to Patty be Patty Duke was the Patty one I was Duke. Talking to. Okay, but Patty Duke, uh, handsome actress, I never like made my like adolescent masturbation list. Who else? Um, who else could so I have been whacking? Bill's going, who was the hot chick that I would have been whacking off to when I was nine in this movie? Like, who? He was in the movie, Richard Dreyfus. He's asking, who else could it have been in this movie that I was jacking to? It to, uh, there must have been, I, I know there was some. Oh, yeah. Jacqueline Bissett. <laughs> Jacqueline Bissett. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And yet, and with an English <laughs> accent, which usually is such a boner killer. <laughs> okay, so they're both reminiscing on. You know, jacking off to this co-worker uh, of his from the film. And uh, then he starts kind of turtling out. Here. I mean, he, <laughs> he kind of starts doing the baby, which is a move where you fall back on your big butt and do this. And it's a really awkward, like, this is enough for me to go, okay, we gotta, like, let's fix the pillows for this guy. You know, you or I'm that? wondering, does he have like so, like MS or something? Because <laughs> now he's like this, and he's starting to do this just really jerky, faggoty <laughs> movements. But then the conversation also starts getting really sexual. <laughs> Should we continue from here? Yeah, I think so. All right, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about that accent that doesn't go. And so with... she did, and that was a big hot turn on. Who else? Listen. There was somebody else who was like, even uh, Jacqueline Bissett is classy. And uh, some there's there's, there's a whole be. raft of g women who've never made it past grade B. So that doesn't matter to a masturbator. <laughs> we are not judging so you. Well, actually, by <laughs> actually, it didn't matter to anybody. Because I mean, this because that shot already in itself is. He's like holding himself up by only his tip. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it, it's unnatural. It's a very strange shot right now. This gets weirder. Judgment would be made based on that film. What film was it? What film were you in in that year? Okay. So, so I. You were in, but you were already in films. I was plainly masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about when you masturbate? Uh -oh. Isn't that the okay. ultimate question? Here's, here's where things get twisted. So we're already all caught up in this laying weird sitting shit, right? We're screaming over his body position. And then Bill ask him, asks him, what do you masturbate to? And I didn't think this was about to happen. Watch this. <laughs> what do you think about when you masturbate? Isn't that the ultimate question that could tell you what really a person is about? What do you think about when you masturbate, Richard Dreyfus? I never thought about my mother. <laughs> well, I hope and not. I never thought that if I had thought of my mother, I would be thinking incestuous thoughts. That never occurred to me and yet awesome. incestuous thoughts was the engine that drove my masturbation <laughs> what did you uh jack off because they were just joking around how they jacked off to some dumb movie bill was and what did you jack off to thinking he was going to say oh it was uh sybil shepherd <laughs> crawling out of the lake in lagoon three something like that but he goes so I never wanted to fuck my own mother, but incestual thoughts are what drive my every waking move, my hunger, my whole desire and appetite, my sexual flavor was incest-based. I'd never hurt a fly, I swear, but my sister was all I wanted. That is literally what is being said and what is compounded on how come this isn't like an article anyway? Yes, listen to this shit. She was thoughts that never occurred to me. And yet incestuous thoughts was the engine that drove my masturbation. Really? Yes. <laughs> incestuous with who? <laughs> Who's, who crossed that street first? Y yeah. Acquiring um, minds want to know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you brought it up, but yeah, like, no, if I'm it's not your mother. I. Well, how many people could it be? I mean, yeah, I, and your sister. In the early years, I Listen. thought 
about very little else. Not like, grandma. Who am I thinking of? <laughs> in my <laughs> early who years. Are you thinking who am I thinking of? I, I, I'm asking. <laughs> in my early years, I thought about very little else than incest. Listen to this. Who are you thinking of? <laughs> Because you Inquiring know. Inquiring minds want to know. Well, <laughs> he starts jacking off. He is now laying down and jacking off. And going, Inquiring minds want to know. Who are you thinking of? Because you Inquiring know. Inquiring minds want to know. Well, I mean, you do know that. Now, we are not laughing at a man with like a disease. I promise. I don't think. We looked it up. He's clean. You I talked to his, spoke Google with his doctor myself. Says, I did a blood blood panel on him. Says He's he good. He has bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder. Physical disease. So this isn't like we're laughing at Michael Lair. This is not that. This is. This is not like you'll see. He jumps out of his doctor. seat. He could also stand and walk. It's not like he's been laid there. All right, listen to this. And he's, he's getting fully really down, by the way, at this point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you guys could see, is it too dark I think to see? You can oh, kind it's of so see. dark. He's like fully laying off the couch. Okay. That porn today is like dominated almost by incest porn. Like if you go on Pornhub, like it's the same uh, videos that we've been looking at for years. It's some chick, hopefully a hot one, although obviously beauty. He's like limboing. I mean, he's how low could he go at this his point? His body is fully off, and he's just using his arms yes, to hold him he's like a holding his arms, and now he is doing hip thrusts. Perfect form, by the way, and uh, just holding himself. And there's not one time where Bill goes, "Hey, do you need?" Let's just pull the pillow. That pillow happening. is slipping. So Bill just pretends none of this sit stuff is happening. That we've been looking at for years. It's some chick, hopefully a hot one, although obviously beauty's in the eye. Um, but there are many beautiful, uh, you know, porn stars who in another era could have been movie stars if they didn't always take a bunch of jizz in the face, which is like not something that the he studio, is sliding. Uh, certainly not in Mr. Mayor's day, uh, looked kindly on. <laughs> Although, of course, they did it in private. Anyway. Wait, now his chest is now underneath the arms of the chair. Okay, so that's how you know he's too low. Imagine my chest being underneath the arms of the chair. It's a low, it's a Just low try, go. Try it. <laughs> I have no more room. And this is you an open front You can go a little desk. lower, come on. Oh, no, no, <laughs> My shorts are thonging <laughs> into me right now. Oh, no. Looks comfy. Honestly. It really is nice. This is why Ethan Klein <laughs> loves doing the show. Just lay back. Wow, you actually let look the really pill relaxed. Kick, let the Lexapro course through your veins. <laughs> ah, stupid idiots. How much money did this earn me? Eight billion today. Nice, idiots, losers, <laughs> retards, dumbasses. Did we get Burger King? This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> Damn. Luxury like the Kleins. So he's slipping. And again, Bill's not saying a damn word. Well, they so, did it. But and they you, did it for Mr. Mayor, but yes, only in did. a private collection. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, those guys, oh, those guys were worse or as bad as the Cosby's. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's, the, he's like convulsing. Convulsing. And it's like he got horny almost. Go back like five seconds and watch yeah. the movement his top just did. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. And he's doing the whole are you garbage face. Yes. The Matt, uh, what's his name? Big Fatty. Xander had a great video on the are you garbage fat guy. It's one of those videos that showed like the scope of things. It's like. Here's the size of the Earth. Here's the size of the Sun. Here's the size of Neptune. Here's the size, and then it get bigger. It's showing you alt star twos and uh, <laughs> mega stars and all this shit. And then of course it ends, and it's like fifty to a hundred times bigger than the largest thing in the universe. And it's a uh, Matt H. Hank Foley. H Foley from uh, <laughs> Are You Garbage with his big fat mouth open. If anyone hears the deal. If you could get 
a ping pong ball in his mouth. Get that on video. $1,000 cash. <laughs> Find Matt Foley. Make him laugh. Ping pong ball. It lands in his mouth. Uh, $1,000. Because you have many opportunities to do that. You go see him on Kill Tony or something, sit in the front row. Ooh, you could keep doing it, too. I'll give you a box of balls. You ever had a fresh, brand new box of ping pong balls? Like beer pong, right into his mouth. And uh, not his. Leave Dreyfus alone. But uh, yeah, H. Foley. Is that legal? You could do that to a comic because it's funny. It's just a ping pong There's ball. different laws. Like that would be assault if I did that to some like old lady. But in the court market, I'd be like, he's a comic. And they'll be like, your honor, you're right. This is, you know, it's Foley's funny. lawyer will be like, your honor, you're right. This is funny. So it's allowed. And the jury will be like, he had his mouth open. Okay, so that's what Dreyfus is doing. He's acting like Foley's dad. And, of course, he's, he's thrusting here. We're going to watch this little movement. Watch his upper body here. Now, those guys were worse or as bad as the Cosby's. Oh, oh yeah. And that, that what they got away with, like in those days of uh, the studios. When and, I mean, you it, read it really... Shirley Temple's book. Okay. Was there more from this clip here? Let's see. Skip forward. Yeah, you could go to 2255. 2255. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Of the Cholchinsky riots. It was, oh, the Cossacks okay. were basically given free reign to kill and murder anyone or incest wanted. stuff but getting out. back to my masturbation yeah here who else was in valley <laughs> <laughs> who well, else was in valley of the dolls Dreyfus. come on i can almost uh, picture it like who is the a, guy not the guy not the guy <laughs> i wasn't masturbating about the guys weirdo i was <laughs> you're you're fucking your sister what are you not the one i even ask about did this. you ever did you have a sister Yes. Did you ever give her what we called a movie, a, a movie actor kiss? No. <laughs> Sir. He goes, you're a weirdo. You're fucking your shit. But he's kind of just kidding, hoping that Dreyfus would be like, I didn't fuck my sister. I'm saying I just liked incest porn. But no, Dreyfus goes, have you ever given your sister a movie star kiss? <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Not the one I even ask about Did this. you ever, did you have a sister? Yes. Did you ever give her what we called a movie, a, a movie actor kiss? No. Oh, God. <laughs> Please. I love my sister. Did but she ever ask you? No. We didn't even like each other when we were kids. We were always, we not. were like two, what? Of course, of course not. not. Yes. <laughs> no. But you no. stopped that no. hostility we're not, under we're... a white flag and you literally said, no. you want to do a movie star kiss? Oh, we're not. Makes him hot that the brother and sister are also at each other's throats. <laughs> And then they're doing this in secrecy. So he's done this. Of course not. The hatred is the thrill of the bite. <laughs> Does his mom know about this? We're telling his mom. We are telling your mom. Is it possible that he's just like so crazy and lost his mind and he's just saying shit? And he's like fucking with him? Because why would you say that? I don't know. Let's hear some more. Flag. And you literally this said, gets sick. Watch. You want to do a movie star kiss? We're not. We're weirdo. We're not weirdos like you. We we were just we're normal people who grew up in New Jersey, and we didn't have memories. I lived in Queens, so it's uh, the same you, thing. Yeah, <laughs> Queens. <laughs> I'll say. I lived uh, twenty blocks. Phil, He's Phil, gay because of that. Uh, away from uh, Trump and his family, and I was twenty blocks. 10, it's pretty close. 15 streets away from, uh, what's his name? Uh, who I played also. What's his name? Uh, Alexander Haig. Security. Okay. Is there any more to this part? Does he talk about his sister? I think he starts telling this really weird story about his sister. Where was that? It was about where he he told his mom... It was like some weird story about how if he ever got caught doing his incest, he would deny it by saying, no, no, mom, my sister, that's not her. That's a robot that replaced her. Like he already came up with all these excuses 
and he talks about the excuses he would use to his parents if ever gotten. Oh no, I think he was talking uh, about something else. Oh, okay. Well, it <laughs> I sounded like that, that part you were talking about, but no, he was talking about his kid. <laughs> oh. But he was just like, a robot has replaced my teenage daughter, but in like a really weird way where he yeah. didn't quite get what he was talking about at That's first. why you can't talk about incest <laughs> and, then some... and then say all this weird shit. It sounds like that's um, part of it. Go to 2843, this part's funny. 28? Yeah, 2843. 2843, let's see what happens here. Is this the ad? Yeah. Okay, look, so Bill slips into an ad here. This is really nuts. Uh, 28, 40. Watch this ad that Bill does. And look at Dreyfus. I mean, he's fully asleep. He's fully laying down right now. <laughs> kind of, that is kind of, I mean, they are. This is a little break from violence, Dreyfus, I think. Shoving your dick in somebody's mouth is, is violent. <laughs> Do you like true crime? Check Here's out the Mind ad. of a Monster, a true crime podcast from ID about history's most notorious serial killers. On this new season of Mind of a Monster, host and criminal psychologist Dr. Michelle Ward tells the story of Jeffrey Dahmer and how he got away with cannibalism, killing, and necrophilia for more than 13 years. <laughs> Past seasons tell the story of serial killers like Ted. So, so he'll read anything. <laughs> There's no tact. Do you want to learn more about Jeffrey Dahmer? For five easy payments of some weird service, you could see... Necrophilia. I mean, it really caught me... I was, like, tuning this out. Wait, and you should go back... A, like, you don't two... do an ad for Dahmer. You should go back, like, two more clicks before this, because I got to see how he's laying right here. Yeah, it was wild. Look, what the see? fuck, man? Yeah, let's just hear... There's something strange about this here. Tells the story of Jeffrey Dahmer and how he got away with cannibalism, killing, and necrophilia for more than 13 years. Past seasons tell the story of serial killers like Ted Bundy and the Green River Killer, LA's famous hillside strangler cool and commercial. Night Stalker Killers, and Ed Kemper, <laughs> Very aka the co ed killer. That's a lot of true crime, and it's all available to listen to now, you sick fucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> listen God. to Mind of a Monster, Jeffrey Dahmer, or wherever you get your podcast. <laughs> Stupid. My aunt's is down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was just a little. We thought that was just a goofy way go to, to deliver that information. Yeah. With that music, too. <laughs> He's Whatever era he is trapped in kind of rules. I it's know. like a sick vibe. I'm so into Bill. Nobody Like, imagine being anyways. able to go to Club Random for a sick party with all these, like, 50 year old so actresses from the USA up all night days and shit. Okay, what's go the... Go to uh, 4622. I can't quite remember what this part is about, but okay. I think it might be good. 4622. Let's see what we got here. Coming up. Ace aliens, and they come and take your kid for 12 years. When they took my daughter, when oh, they yeah, took my the part you were talking daughter... About. Who took? The aliens. When they took my <laughs> daughter... Oh, really? Yeah. What do you think happens to kids when they're 12 years old? They're kidnapped and oh, taken to another right. planet. And, <laughs> and they're replaced by an oh. android. And an android... Who's a lot a, harder to deal with? With a myth. With a fucking right. painful myth. And when they do that, they are the same person, but they're not. And don't let them fool you, Dad. That's <laughs> not my sister. That is not my sister. Right. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. And I'm telling you, they are trained. And the difference between boys and girls is real simple. Boys are so embarrassed by s sexual problems that they treat one another only through the vocabulary of cartoons. Wabos. Hey, look at him. Wabos. Hey, that's He's a sex all that guy. vocabulary. And girls are mechanical engineers, and they they say they know exactly how wide and how thick and how this and how they they like it like such and such and what they are you talking about they like, like the size of a dick. Dick, I thought okay. that, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Little girls are always talking about the girth <laughs> of the dick. Nah. <laughs> When boys are little, they're always like, let me see those wazos. It's always a cartoon thing when the boys are young. Let me see those bazooms, those bazams. When girls are young, 
They want to know the girth. They want to know the width, the length, the weight of the cock. Uh, how old? Oh, real young. Eight, two. I had a two-year-old grandson. She was obsessed with circumference of the cock. That's nuts. I've never heard it like that. I don't think Bill's buying Bill's it either. Shock. Yeah, Bill's in shock. Assume <laughs> I that you're always you thinking about feelings. dicks. Okay, so yeah, and that's so, true. That is absolutely. But they're not the, thinking about dicks at that young age <laughs> when the boys are but, watching rabbit cartoons. Well, right? that depends on your point of view because I think they are talking about dicks. At, what really before ten? At yeah, night? I mean, no, before if, ten if years gonna, old, really. If I was going to call it, I, I would say so. yes. I would. You know wow. what? I'm sure eight-year-old girls <laughs> have heard nuts. the song "What Ass Pussy." And I'm sure that prompted a number of questions. And, uh, you know, call it, and, I would say, yeah. Oh, if I had to call it, I would say much younger than that. Yes. One, two, three. It's about the Garth oh, and the nuts. I didn't remember and that. And the size part. of the say. <laughs> I don't know about that. Welcome it seems like girl. he's going to do something harmful to children. <laughs> Maybe the right. We need to call the right. Is there a phone number for the right so I, I can report right uh, potential sex crimes? <laughs> All right, what do we got next here? Uh, spread and jump scare. Go to 4820. 4820. Now, this is a spread. spread and jump scare it's listed. I think the spread is the jump scare. 4820, okay. Yeah, well. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's coming up. Here we go. Uh, Before if 10 if years gonna, old, really? If I was going to call it, I, I would say so. yes. I would, you know what? <laughs> I'm sure... Eight-year-old girls have heard the song "What Ass Pussy," and I'm sure that prompted a number of questions. And uh, you know, and mom, what's a what ass pussy? And you know, don't ask your father; he doesn't know. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know, but um, yes, I think I think today's kids are exposed to so much that you're probably right that they they by and what's on the phone, the internet. I mean, they perforce must know like things that I was just clueless about that at that age, you know, uh, I mean, I, one thing I am okay, very, well, I didn't see the jump scare, but, uh, I mean, any moment of this could have been the jump wait, scare. Wait, uh, it's, I feel like it's still coming. Wait, that's him. That's him. Yes. But I didn't see a jump a gigantic scare. spread. Okay. Here. It's about that at that age, you know? Uh, so yes, it cuts back to him and yes, he has <laughs> opened himself up. He almost looks like the guy from Barry in jail with Barry a little bit there. He's fattened and he's fully spreading. I mean, that's oh. what, can we see that when his legs are darkened like that in the monitor? I fear you're not seeing the bulbous <laughs> jolliness of his wide open legs. Is he wearing tights? This almost looks like he has a sock and then he has like a compression tight. He probably does. Under the whole thing. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is sick. All right, what do we got next for Richard here? Let me go to 56, 56. minutes. Okay, to end here's, this yeah, the finale here. How low could he go? Let's go to 56. What is that? 56 minutes. Okay, 56. Here we go. Look at this. The finale. So we, he, oh, he's going, he's going ham here. He's got his hand on the <laughs> pillow. The pillow is. He's laughing up a storm. He's laying back. You're lucky they, that they fucking... Uh, and that's... Oh, my God. I ended up in it, but only because... But why you? Oh, my God. Look at this shot. <laughs> Look at that shot. Is he on his death? <laughs> Look at that. Have you ever seen this in a talk show? And why will Bill's just too scared to say something because he's such a big actor? I don't know. Let's see what happens next. Why Who's do you think? Going? I mean, like, why was I picked? Yeah, like some there's great actors really laying down. One of them, but why did they? I mean, they could have. Who? Who? I mean, everybody was. Well, I think it was. I was finally picked because he's getting real I close to that. Stephen edge. of Stephen. Oh, that's so interesting. Did you see Fableman's? No, not yet. No. Look at no. him. I won't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> You'll like it. 
I mean, it's not for everybody, on but it's so, you know, he's never made a movie like that where it says, I mean, you're still on good terms with him, I hope. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you'll like it, you know, and it, and it certainly speaks to the anti-Semitism, especially in the second okay. half. He's lowering. That's going on around today. I mean, you know, he, he, they, he got some of that real... Um, punch in the nose because you're a Jew stuff. What? Really? Yeah. You, you didn't know that? No. Oh, come on, come on, just a little <laughs> bit. This is like where you're trying to edge those coins to fall off the side, you know, so you could win a bunch of tickets. And you're going, come on, come on. It's like magnetically held on by like a thread. Okay, let's see. We're all on the edge of our seats here. Spielberg. The director, <laughs> big Jew. Oh. <laughs> He's really I mean, like, oh, uh, and oh, he finally kind of fell. Like, look at this. So he gets right to the edge, and right almost as he falls completely off, realizes that he must get back up. Watch this. No. And <laughs> Spielberg. The director and <laughs> big Jew coming. I, I am in the uh, fall. Okay, yeah. So we almost missed it during the cut. He slid completely off. It happened while we were cut, and now we're watching him get his get himself back up a little. The bit. director, <laughs> big Jew. Tortured. Here's where he slips. I, I am in oh, uh, right there. MGM uh, Marshfield uh, Park Center stage. Whoa, Hard fully back. Field, Ohio, Saturday, May I didn't 20th, know he had Sunday, the, the ability to go that far. Casino in Prior Lake, Minnesota. Let's see what Saturday, happens. June 3rd, the Met, Philadelphia. Sunday, June 4th, the Wind Creek Event Center in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And you have a book. Could I? Oh, and you okay. sign it. So he was able to get right back up there. I mean, a man with some disease couldn't do that hop. <laughs> he just shot back. <laughs> yeah. Holy he completely fuck. falls off. And really that was it, right? Me. Let's see. Does he do anything Pretty else much. weird right at the end? No. Okay. Well, he sat up. Good for him. We must find out what's going on there. Loved it. And yes, uh, turned him into his parents.